morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. I'm out here in Putnam today doing one of my annual seasonals. We've been on this property three or four times. We do gutter cleaning in the fall and house washing in the spring. Uh, this guy referred us this little house at the front too. So we're doing a twofer here on this little dirt road. That done, that done. Then we got a big project today, which is gonna be something unique that I haven't done before. All right, the big house over there is done. We're over here on the small house now on rinse mode and nothing too interesting to see here same old thing we're going to save our video for the interesting project coming up here in a few minutes all right so here's my big project for the day this is a forestry product operation um, they ship logs all over the world it's an international corporation they are uh, it's whole forest products Hull, H-U-L-L, -L, Hull Forest Products. And uh, they've got an operation up in Ontario, Canada. Uh, they've got another one somewhere overseas. And this one here, all owned by the one family. And there's just logs everywhere. When we get in the back here, I mean, I've never seen so many logs in one place myself. And they've got this really big metal facility that has like soot all over it. It doesn't seem to be mildew. It's on the sunny side and it seems to be a soot. I came up here a few weeks ago and did a couple test hits with Zep degreaser and a couple other things I had on the truck. And uh, Zep actually melted what was here pretty easily. And it looks like it's gonna be spray and rinse. So we're starting here in the corner on this metal building where these logs are racked and we're working our way all the way around the back and uh i'm going to be trying to do this at first here with my 12 volt and see how it goes and uh rinse with the pressure pressure washer but i'll show you what's going on in the back of the truck and we're going to take a few experiments here all right we bought 15 gallons of zep degreaser from lowe's yesterday I've had good luck with this stuff over the last couple years. I know it's not maybe the best stuff, but it works pretty well and it's easily sourced locally. And I think it's like $45 for five gallons. So I emptied out my soap tank this morning and I've got five gallons of water in there and five gallons of Zep degreaser in there. So it's already cut 50-50. I had good luck spraying it on here directly. It melted what was there. I'm going to try to you know, reduce it a little bit further through the proportioner. We're gonna have the soap valve wide open. We're gonna have the SH off. So I really don't think we need any SH. And then we're gonna put the water full on. And I'm not sure exactly what that ratio is gonna be. It's gonna be less than 50-50. It might be like, I don't know, 10 to one. And we're gonna see how it works. Nice and gentle. And here we go. All right, we're cycling it, cycling it through. I had thoroughly rinsed it the last time I used it, so I got several gallons of water here to come through before we see any soap. All right, we got a little bit of sud coming through. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna lay it on here with the 12 volt. And then we'll be able to rinse with the pressure washer. I don't think I want to do it with the X6. I think I'll use too much and I won't get through the project. Check it out with a simple rinse. Beautiful. I mean, it's pretty crazy. It's melting right off of there.
Again, I'm guessing I'm about three to one, maybe. Good five, ten minute dwell time. And it's coming out like this. Versus that. some crazy results. We're cruising right along. I've gotten to the do not enter sign and I have this section left. I just reset my truck, moved down a bit more. I have to leave room for the logging vehicles to come through. I'm going to make myself a new batch of soap. I've used about seven gallons total so far of the 50-50 soap that I made. I'm just gonna put this straight five gallons in. I still have another five gallons. I have more than enough to get through it. And we're gonna try running just a little bit hotter and see if we can't move a little bit faster since we have the chem to work with. Taking a quick break. I got from there in that alcove all the way down here, all of this in that break area, all the way down there past the truck on the high side. I got one section in the back left to do, and that's gonna be it. It is about 2.30. I'm gonna take a good 10, 15 minute break. Let my water tank fill up, cause then I'm gonna disconnect and I'll just be remote in the back and use up what I have and we're gonna call it a day. Oh boy, this is about the dirtiest area of all of it. I still have a whole five gallons of degreaser left to use. I think I'm gonna to try to run it a little bit hotter through here to try to increase my speed a little bit. So we got some electrical going on back here. So I don't wanna be here too long putting too much water up. So let's start getting some degreaser up on there. M5, baby. All right, 335 wrapped up and done. Last section came out phenomenal. 
real happy with it. I couldn't get enough pressure up on the line, the white line or under that lip to do much else than I did. Short of bringing a lift in here, that's all I can do. Playing with the extensions, my arms are toast. I got one more project tonight. We're going out to take care of a restaurant after hours. It'll be like eight o'clock at night when we are able to start the project. We're doing some roof cleaning and some sidewalk cleaning. That'll have to go on tomorrow's video. You guys have a great night.